Welcome to Elite Desecrated Temple of Vol. This is, I think, going to be a third video for this level. Uh, as far as gearing goes, I'm pretty happy with uh, where it's at right now. This is, it's, I'm actually farther along in gear than I thought I would be when I started this project. Um, a lot of it's the same since the last one. I kind of went over it quickly, but uh, got the Resistance 6 Vitality 20 going on on the goggles. It's a pretty nice set of goggles. And then the Blue Dragon Plate Armor. That's the same really, really nice uh, armor for a caster. And then the heavy version is good for the more tanky uh, side of things that I'm looking to do with this build. Uh, Ethereal Bracer has got the green slot up to Physical Resistance 10. Call the slot with Charisma 4. Ethereal, that really doesn't do anything for me because I'm not, you know, melee damage is not <laughs> a focal point on this build. Pairing 1 gives me that plus 1 insight bonus to armor class and saves. And then still got the Ancient Band going on. Uh, Diamond of Strength plus 4. I'm going to be getting Gloves of Strength plus 6 next level. I've set a le uh, level 17. Ogre power six gloves with two slots on it that I'm going to use. So we put in something else in the colorless slot, protection five, and heavy fortification as well. Still rocking the boots of speed six. And same feather falling gloves. This I pulled in the Reaver raid and got the seal too. Uh, I had lots of fun pugging with those guys last night in Giant Hold. Really nice guys. Everybody I've met in Thalana so far, really nice. So uh, I've got my Charisma 6 there, uh, exceptional Charisma skills, improved deception, and a bunch of other goodies there too. And the haggle is appreciated as well, so I can sell stuff, make a little bit more money. As you can see, I'm up to a quarter million plat. I'm actually pretty close to a million plat now, but I have like a hundred, almost 200,000 tied up in auctions right now, and I don't think I'm going to win any of them. One of them's for a plus two to plus three upgrade con tome. I don't have any tomes yet on this tomb any stat tomes, any tomes whatsoever. Um, but uh, it's kind of wishful thinking that I might be able to win that and then possibly get a plus two con tome maybe when I get the 1750 favor point and I, I get a plus two tome, probably get con or, or wisdom. Still got the plus six con constitution belt, spellcraft seven augment. So cloak of flames here. Uh, one of my next, after I get done here in necro four, one of the next things I'm going to do is upgrade that to tier 3 because uh, Ivana, who I pugged with last night, was nice enough to craft me this Feather Falling Shard. And if you, if you upgrade this to tier 3, it's going to be craftable. I can slide that on there. It'll make it level 17, though. So that's why it's not on there yet. If I was a crafter on this tune, I could put a a shard of Mashable Craftsmanship, which would lower the minimum level by two, so I could have it at level 15 with a Feather Falling Shard, or without anything on it, I could put a Mashable Craftsmanship Shard on there and make that minimum level 13. So as I mentioned before, this is upgraded. You can have a minimum level 13 Cloak of Flames with Combustion 90 on it. Combustion 90 level 13, that's huge. You can do the same thing with all the Kaneth Challenge items. So for example, Braces of Wind, level 13, Magnetism 90. Frozen Tunic, level 13. Glaciation 90. That's so awesome. I'm also really happy to have the Shamanic Fetish going on here. I had this idea that I was going to uh, make the Master's Gift out of my uh, Voice of the Master and my Mantle of the World Shaper and put it in there. And then I <laughs> I remembered that you got to have epic tokens to do that, and I sure as hell don't have any epic tokens on this tune. So I'm just going to be switching to the voice of the master when I finish quests. Old school. So, Sage's Locket. This is an awesome piece of gear. This comes out of Friends in Low Places in Wayloon, so, and that's a level 18 on Elite. I soloed that sucker on Elite last night, and that was a huge challenge. Um, I got through it all the way to the end, killed the boss but there's like five shit zillion archers after the boss is dead still to deal with and I just I couldn't deal with them um, you know, I can't melee them down and I was I didn't have enough mana to take them out so I had to recall use the shrine outside come back in and deal with those archers which then opens up to the end so I did have to take re-entry 
but for all intents and purposes, I did, I was able to solo the quest on Elite 2 under level uh, with this tune. And then got Wise 6 Helmet. I might use 20 more taps to get the True to Soar. That's got Wise 6, Wise 6 Reflex Save 5. The Reflex Save won't stack, but it's got the yellow slot. So if I need another slot, I might get the True to Soar, which is the, the Tapestry turn-in. Still using that same damn Longsword. Keep looking for something better. And there's just the named long swords in this level range are just not going to do it for me. There's the Kanath Challenge one. Doesn't have a slot, though. I really like the red slot. I did upgrade it with Impulse 78. And super excited to have Fanion. I hustled my butt off to get the shield pieces that I needed. And a uh, big thanks to some assembly who gave me the very last piece I needed for free. He's, I was spamming all the channels, and he's, he's like, here, you can have it. Like, that's awesome. So, I do appreciate that very much. Slotted that up with Natural Armor 5. I've got Arch Magi on there. Greater False Life. Awesome, awesome shield. And as I think I mentioned in my last video, it's got Twilight and Mithril on it. Zero Arcane Spell Failure. That doesn't help this tune, but a Sork or a Wizard, for example, uh, or I think even a Bard, uh... I'm not sure if a bard has restrictions on large shields. No, they don't. So even a bard could use this uh, really awesome heroic shield. For uh, enhancements, uh, last video, as I mentioned, took efficient uh, meta magic and power. I don't normally do this, but I'm so mana starved that I did that. And as and like I said, I, I took the the mental toughness and improved mental toughness feats. I didn't want to have to take those, but I really, really need the mana. Once I get to level 18, I'm going to work over here. I'll, I'll redo things so that I can get haste. Uh, that's going to be super awesome to get haste on this tune. That's one of the things I really like about the favorite soul is you get blur, you get haste, and then as a human, you get greater heroism. So you got all those traditionally arcane spells that you can cast pretty cool. As far as uh, skill points go, I'm I'm super starved and I'm still only putting points in uh, spellcraft and concentration. I'd like to put some, you know, I'd like to max out intimidate. I'd like to put some in UMD. I'd like to put some in balance, but on this first lifer, I just don't have the skill points to do that. But like on my favorite soul in Sarlona, Sporty Spice, I do have maxed out intimidate and uh, pretty uh, high UMD and balance as well. I was actually thinking about trying to get Abbott flagged on this tune and actually try to lead an abbot on this server. That would be a lot of fun. Um, what has been really, really lame is that I keep pulling the, sh the same uh, sigil pieces. I've got three piece threes and two piece fours. I mean, come on. I'm really defying the odds on this. I need some diversity, so I'm probably going to knock these out on Elite and then maybe post a sigil farming group. I am going to actually have to post a group for uh, flesh makers. I already did. Oh, this is lame. <laughs> I just got done with Inferno and was able to do that solo elite, no problem. No re entry. Didn't even have to use all the shrines. And like I said before, 
uh, my philosophy with traps is to survive them. No evasion, not particularly high saves, but just to be able to survive them. I don't know if I'm going to have high enough jump to be able to jump around these, so I might have to just go through them. Oh yeah, get over this. Well, got over the first one, but not this one. That's okay. Let's see if I can survive running through them. No sweat. I'm trying to heal myself, and I'm quelled. There we go. Piece of cake. So I'm feeling a lot better about this tune overall than I was, you know, five levels ago. It was such a struggle. I'm going to go ahead and use this shrine now, because I don't have T-Door. I did find uh, a couple stacks of two scrolls of Dimension Door, and I thought I'd post them in the auction house, and I looked at some of what the other ones were selling for, and I was surprised how high they're selling for on this server. I sold uh, two scrolls of Dimension Door for 150,000 plat, and then again two more for the same price, uh, like the next day. So that was, uh, that was pretty awesome. That was, uh, much welcome, Platt. really don't want to get hit by their quell. I'm going to go left first since mana has been an issue for me because the shrine is over here. Blade Barrier is so awesome for this quest because it does affect the shadows as opposed to like coming in here um, and if all you had was like for an AoE it would, would, would be something like Firewall, they're immune to fire. barrier really tears them up. Ice Storm works too. Optionals back there. I'm not going to be able to open the door.
so I am um, working on Ginger Spice's uh, final Morning Lord life, and I decided to go straight cleric because um, you know I noticed when working on this tune, I, I was um, lamenting about the lack of SLAs on, on a favorite soul, and you know I was checking out the other classes, and you know I noticed that everybody else has them, uh, even cleric now, and I haven't played clerics since. You know, Ginger was a cat cleric before Druids came out, but back then, you know, there were no trees, and there weren't, you know, weren't really any, well, there weren't a lot of SLAs in any event, so I decided to give Cleric a try, and, uh, you know, I'm not even through level 15 yet, so I haven't even played a full level, I've only played probably half a dozen quests, but I'm already really happy about the SLAs that Clerics get, and I'm just feeling like, even more so, that favorite souls are really getting shafted in that regard and as as a premium class you know I feel like they should be better <laughs> there needs to be some perks and I think that cleric at least if you're gonna play a caster uh, has one up to favorite soul right now which kinda makes me want to do a, a cleric first life video, uh, video series now but I definitely would not do that right after Favorite Souls. Too much redundancy. And besides, I'd be playing it exactly the same. Because this is how I like to play my tunes. If I did another First Life series, it would probably be Sork. Probably like a like a water savant. I did. Um, I have a lot of experience playing air savant. That's what voodoo is on Sarlona. Uh, but when I did my three sork lives on ginger, I decided to try all of the other savants. And I did I think fire first and acid, and I I did water last because I thought I would hate it, and it turned out to be my favorite. Uh, I thought Water Savant was so powerful and just blasted through to 20. I, d I haven't played the other sale. Oh, I've only played Air Savant in Epics. The others I just did for the past life. Like I'm not gonna need that shrine after all, but did I miss? Oh, there he is. For spells, I mentioned last video, I did take Death Pack. I really like Death Pack. A lot of people like to bash it. You know, it does. You do take a hit point penalty when you cast it, but you die, you get you can self res. So I, I think it's totally awesome. Um, I'm up to 62 armor class. Uh, not too shabby for this first lifer. almost 23k not too bad thanks for watching if you have any questions about my videos you can respond on youtube guardian liturgy not that's not actually a, a bad weapon now that it has the red slot i thought it had two slots on it but you know if you're a first lifer and you use daggers if you have any 
Oh, and if you happen to be on Sarlona, you are welcome to send me a tell.